Thank you, Matt. The Defines Bulldogs looking for their third state baseball title in the last four years, taking on Steubenville. Top of the first, Shea Smitty on the third. Wild pitch, he comes in to score. Bulldogs up 1-0 without the benefit of a base hit. Smitty, the Louisville commit on the hill, gets the backward strikeout to lead things off in the bottom of the first. Top of the second now, Bulldogs bats continuing to hit. Jacob Jimenez, deep drive. One hops the wall in left field. After a bump single, Jimenez would score on a sack fly. 2-0 defiance in front. Top of the third now 3-0 after Smitty scores on a fielder's choice. Two on. Austin Taylor. Blooper falls into right field. Charlie Gordon scores from second with two outs. It's 4-0 Bulldogs. Smitty cruising on the mound. Gets the strikeout to end the third inning. Go to the fourth now. Big Red threatening. Two men on. Two out. But once again, Smitty able to get the strikeout, keeps the game 4 0. Sixth inning, Defiance up 4 1, the two out rally. Man on second, Emilio Gonzalez, gapper to right center. Bryce Borton will score 5 1 Bulldogs in front. Next batter is Smitty, and the pitcher, his only hit of the game in RBI, Gonzalez scores 6 1 Defiance in front. And they go on to win by that final score. At the plate, Smitty one for one with the RBI. Also scored two runs as he walked three times. Even better on the hill. He went the distance for the victory, striking out eight. Shea Smitty did not have his good stuff. His velocity was way down today. He's running out of he's running out of uh, of energy or whatever I want to say, steam or whatever. He's he's wearing down. But he battled the entire game and really competed. I think that he is a big factor when when you throw a special like this. I mean, it's human out, but. Um, you just got to find a way to get through. I mean, my team did a good job of giving me run support right away. So, um, and quick innings, get me in and out with water and um, everything like that. I mean, that was, that was big. Cetus gets her done. He gets on base. He runs. He, uh, he just plays the game the right way. He doesn't try to do too much. He has fun playing. And, you know, it's kind of bad. We kind of take him for granted. And, and uh, we, uh, but he's been, he's been, he's had a heck of a four years. Their pitcher was doing great at mixing speeds and everything like that. So, um, he had me down 2-2, and he was pitching a little bit backwards, so I was kind of getting my front foot down early. And um, if he threw a fastball, um, rip it. If he threw me an off-speed, hit it the other way, throw my hands. The experience of being here and not being overwhelmed by walking into this park, uh, you look at our, our, our community. I mean, the support our community gives us, uh, I can't believe it, on a Thursday at 10 a.m., I cannot believe how many people we had here. And, and our kids, uh, yeah, they've been here, and it's, you know, it's a big deal. There's no doubt about that. We all know that. It's really hard to get here. Uh, but I think some of these guys are naive to think it's easy getting here, and it's not. So uh, uh, I think it's definitely a benefit. A lot of these guys haven't really played at this stage, and they really played well today. But, um, I mean, being out here on this stage, um, we have a lot of experience. So, I mean, that helps calm the other guys down or, and everything like that. And just, just having fun with them. I mean, this is the, we're playing high school baseball last week of high school baseball. You can't ask for anything better. Bulldogs will play Hamilton Baden Saturday morning for the Division II state championship. Rams defeating Poland Seminary in the other semifinal. For the Sports Report, Mark Koontz.